Hi, baby. How you doing? <laughs> you gonna help me find some golf balls today? All right, good to hear. Let's go get them. Welcome, friends, to Muskrat Links. Today, we are back out here at Bethlehem Country Club. Kim has been super kind and let us back out to search for golf balls again, since we kind of ran out of time last time, but I'm super excited to get back out here because the course is officially closed now. Hopefully, it'll be able to reopen. Good job, Wavy. My daughter's already found a golf ball. Take a look. You find a golf ball, Wavy? That's a good one. Is it chopped in half? Before we get into today's video, guys, you've got one week left to sign up to get your Muskrat Lynx 5K Founders Patch. The link is down in the description. Go ahead and click it and fill it out. It's for people who have been subscribers and have put positive comments on the videos helping build this awesome community. And if you're not a subscriber, that's fine. Go ahead, tap that subscribe button right now. Join the Muskrat Lynx golf team. Put a comment on this video and sign up for one of these amazing patches. This golf ball hunting video was absolutely awesome. We found something so cool. I've never found it before, so make sure to watch until the end. Again, big thank you to Kim for letting us out on the course after it was closed. Golf ball hunting, abandoned golf course, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. No carts today either, so we're carrying whatever we find. Hopefully we can get some good stuff. Let's roll. I've already looked up here once before when we were first here. This is hole 14, I believe, or hole 13. We've got ourselves a little Top Flight XL2000. Wouldn't it be a golf ball hunting video if we didn't turn up one of these right away? So we'll do a quick search of this area just to see if there's any new deposits up here, anything that I missed before. But I wanna head to some of the holes we didn't have time to film on last time we were up here. See if we can find some treasures. There we go, got a little guy right here. Distance plus, classic. And we have here, Callaway Diablo Tour. Well, I see something that is probably a rock, but because it has a chance of being a very old golf ball, I'm going to take a look. It's right here in front of my foot. I think it is a golf ball, actually. Ooh, yeah. Golden Ram, I think. We'll have to check that one out in the garage later, but that's a cool one. This spot's not the easiest to navigate, but there's no leaves here, so it means we can actually see golf balls on the ground, which is a premium out here today. I think we just got this one sitting right here. Fortunately, I think it's just a Wilson Ultra. It is going in the bag. Oh, there's another one over there. Let's see if we can grab him. Oh yeah, I think I see a little three piece here actually in the woods. What do we got first here? Srixon Softfield with a cool little logo on it. Apple Hill Golf Club. Have I played there before? She's a Titleist, but I don't think she's a urethane. Tor Soft, yeah, no dice. And then the final piece of our three piece Looks like he's a Callaway. Super soft. All right, good little three piece though. Oh, and as we're walking along, I see a daily double Wilson Duo Soft. And what's this orange guy buried up in the hill? Top Light XL. Well, we haven't hit anything of high value yet, but we are finding golf balls. How many golf balls did you find? Three. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of golf balls. You want to show them to me? All right, let's go check them out. And we found three golf balls. Oh, and they're three Titleists as well. Should yes. we put them in the bag? I should put them in a little bag. Those orange trees were right next to each other. Nice. It's just up by this little abandoned building here in front of the uh, the green. And of course, found a golf ball back there. There he is. X2 hot. Creeping along closer to the par five by the highway now. And I have spotted at least one down here. You guys know the rules if you see it. You gotta get it. All right. It's Callaway. A Callaway Super Soft. Hmm, not the best, but I see one more right over there. Callaway HX Hot. Huh, still nothing on the premium list, so. All right, ladies and gents, we are deep in the thorns here. I see a couple. Oh, we got, oh yes. Oh, that's so good. It's another one of the Bethlehem Golf Balls 125 year celebration. Wow, that was worth going into the prick of bushes for. Yes. Let's see if we can navigate our way to this guy. Not getting stabbed too much. Ah, definitely got stabbed. All right, what are you? Ah. Nitro. I spotted two more over there, bad news. 200,000 thorns in between me and these two golf balls. Well, the good news is two is now three. Ah, but the thorns are Still stabbing me. Oh, this is this is the worst thorn encroachment yet, guys. I am stuck on all sides. Ow. What do we got? 
super soft. I'm now at the point where I'm really hoping I don't see any more and I don't have to go get them. Ah, a true feel, ouch, and an ultra. Now we gotta get out of here. I'm spiked in, guys. Oh, I'm so thankful to be out of those spikes. Stick around the outside of them for a little while now. And do you see the ball up here, though? Tylus, oh, and it looks urethane. Come on, be the first one. What do we got? Yes, it's a 2021 Pro V1. Thank goodness we've broke the duck, the goose, whatever you want to call it, the donut. Let the floodgates open now. More urethanes, please. Little something, something down here in the grass. Ugh. Grass, like there's any grass left. Down here in the pricker bushes, it's a vice. A Pro Zero. I don't actually know if the Pro Zero is urethane or not. I'll have to check on Vice's website and find out. Another one nestled in the leaves here. Oh yeah. Sorry, I just had to wait for the truck convoy to pass there, but that's a 2023 Pro V1. That feels good. Yeah, well, unfortunately I've seen one here, which means I have to go get it. He's deep back in there. I think I can get it with my foot, actually. Ready for a foot retrieval? I think foot retrieval's the play. Yes. Ow, 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 they're in my ears. I almost got him. What is he? A Nike. Nike PD Soft. Well, it's ours now. All right, off to another hole here. I think I see one chilling back here. That's my favorite part when the thorns go like right into your nose. That's, uh, that's ideal. Reach in. And what do we win? Callaway Hex Tour Soft. Dang. And again, we're trying to be gentle. We're not trying to uh, tear through any of the, the branches. We're trying to just move them aside. Respect the course, of course. Oh, there's one right at my feet, actually. I believe it's a noodle. Indeed it is. Oh, and there's another one up there. He's lodged in there. Got him unstuck. Is that a kirky? No, it's a pinnacle. Dang. What did you find? A golf ball? Oh my gosh, and it's bright orange. That's such a cool one. I will take it. Thank you very much. Top light. Oh, and a tailor made burner. Beautiful. Thank you for the help, Wavy. Hey, Wavy, I found a yellow one over here. Ready? Check this out. Well, I see two actually. I got a Srixon. It's a Srixon Q-Star. That's a cool one. Then, back in here, under the rock, we've got a very old Nike. Oh, that's cool. All right, it's a double. Here we go, here we go. In the leaves, in the water. Oh, it's an ERC Soft. Unlucky, not the first Chrome Soft of the day yet. Just after that, I see a couple up in here. I think this is going to be a decent area despite the leaf cover because it's all thorns. And thorns are generally good. Alright, tailor-made tour response. That's a nice little urethane. That looks like a Kirkland. I think I see performance plus on the side of that guy. Yes, yes indeed. That is a recovered Kirky boy. Let's go. Go, I've spotted one. Down here in the muck. Made. Ayy. And just over yonder, further into the thorns. Ouch. Callaway. Chrome Soft. All right. It's not a triple track, but that is a nice Chrome Soft for the good. Let's go. Okay. Just walked right into thorns. All right. Bag was starting to get heavy, so we're back at the car. I think. Nana and Wavy are going to go grab some food. I'm going to make a deposit here into the big blue Ikea bag and then head back out there and see if we can find some more golf balls. So let's get these in. Let's get back out there. All right, we made our deposit at the car and that means I'm now officially solo out here. So I'd like to see if we can find a few more premium golf balls. We've got a few holes to go to that we haven't been to before. So I'm walking back out there now. I'm editing some of my other golf ball hunting videos now while I'm actually filming this. So I don't actually know how they're gonna come out, but you guys have seen them at this point. I think what I've done is I've gone and put in kind of a 
average golf ball value, like a value per golf ball for all these videos to make it a little bit more interesting. See kind of which courses have higher value golf balls that we find in the woods. I mean, some courses we're just gonna get lucky and find more high value golf balls and that number is gonna go up. So I'm interested to see what it's gonna be today. I wanna get that value a little higher though since we haven't found too many premium urethanes yet. So what are you, you golf ball? Nope, just birch bark. Hopefully we can find some more over the next few holes. Really get those numbers up. Oh, there's one sitting right here. Oop, almost stepped on him. Warbird. <laughs> add them to the collection and uh yeah guys please make sure you tap that subscribe button join the muskrat Links golf team we've got so much cool stuff here on the channel i absolutely love it but yeah we're getting towards the end of the season here by the time you guys see this video it's probably in the middle of november golf in new hampshire is moving indoors and we're hopping over to the simulator very soon so i can't wait for that to start as well but yeah join the muskrat Links golf team today Just so nice and peaceful down here too. We got this little quiet stream just kind of babbling through ahead of us. We'll follow it down. It's not gonna be super productive, I don't think, because we're getting closer to a tee box. Drives aren't really gonna go here, but oh, I see a yellow one up ahead, probably nitro, right? It is a Polara DX. Don't know if I've, maybe I found one a couple weeks ago. I think I did. I see something good up ahead. I think I see the word Titleist on the side of it, so that is even better. Ah, what are we saying? Pluck this guy from the waters. It is indeed a Pro V1 with a logo as well. Sweet. Let's go. See one in the bank. Got a loop down to it. Right here. Hey, Pro V1X. Let's get it. Got a couple sticking in the dirt down here. Ow. Titleist. There we go. Titleist Pro V1. And then next to it, Strixon Marathon. A range ball and the Pro V next to each other. We'll take that trade every day of the week. And next on the agenda, just chilling here in the bush. Oh, it's a 2023 Pro V1. Just sitting up nicely for us. We love that. All right. Did pretty well over there. Again, considering it was a hole I already picked once before. I found this nice little path that connects holes, I think that's 14 perhaps, and 16. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but this is pretty sweet. Hopefully this is still stable. It seems like it's stable. Okay, it's a little wobbly. Luckily I weigh next to nothing. But with all these golf balls on my back, I weigh a little more see anything down here to go over to the other bank and check to see what's on the other side here as we emerge back onto the golf course all right we're definitely at the point in the picking where this bag is getting noticeably heavy luckily I did bring the backup bag down there so I can at least use two so I'm gonna have to find a place to drop this bag off maybe after I pick down along this edge here that's probably a good spot to pick. Let's we'll head down here, see if we can come up with anything. I know it's swampy in there, because I hit a ball in there a couple weeks ago. But we'll see what we can find, and then uh, head back up the other side. Maybe find a place to drop the bag off. Something's in here. Possibly a snake. Could have been a little mouse or something too, but I thought I saw some slithering going that way. So, we'll just uh, dodge that area. There's only one poisonous snake in New Hampshire, and I'm pretty sure it has a rattle, so. If you guys hear any rattling, let me know. guy tucked in here. Oh, a top flight X out. Thank goodness we found that one. Oh, but right at our feet, I see something else. Looks like a little bit of a lime green. Huh? AccuFly? That's not a brand I've heard of. Okay, that's really cool. We're gonna have to look this one up. Max Soft. Very interesting. 
finding something new is always super exciting. So it just means I get to learn more. That's what it's all about. Oh, there we go. Yellow boy, another back-to-back -back yellows. Oh, I think I saw, I think I saw Z-Star. Yes, indeed, it's a Z-Star XV. That's a nice premium urethane from Srixon. Big. I think Shane Lowry uses that ball. Maybe it's just a plain Z-Star, but I'm pretty sure Shane Lowry's name is on one of those balls. Oh, there's one, that is in the tree, holy cow. Talk about balls that were never gonna be found again. This guy's just in his little hobbit hole here. I think it's a Proby as well. Yes. Yes, it is. That's a fantastic find. So cool. A little Srix on down in the swamp here. What are you, good sir? Oh, it's another Z Star XV. Let's go, speak it into existence. Sweet. Srix on. Q Star this time. Okay, well, still a good find. Oh, look, there's one right next to it. Hiding in the tall grass here. I think it's a noodle. Noodle. I mean, that's kind of the whole golf ball picking game, right? You don't see him, you don't see him. You see one, you get down low under the grass and all of a sudden a couple more start popping out at you. Like I would never look here, but if I start moving some grass around, I'm gonna find one. I mean, maybe, you just never know, right? Yeah, look at that, just like that. Move some grass, what do we get? Max fly, max fly, straight fly. Pretty good, pretty good. There's another, and another. A little daily double here, it's a velocity. And then buried further down, a Q-Star Tour. All right, there's another premium urethane. Just digging in the grass here, people. Digging in the grass. Okay, I just literally stepped on this one. What is it? Ah. Whoa, oh, sorry, you guys got a bunch of leaves in your face. It's a Pro-V1. I'm just stepping on Pro-V1s out here. Holy cow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What do we got? Oh, it's looking like a Pro-V. Dig them out of there for you guys. Yes, indeed. 2021 Pro V1, that's a great one. And there is another. She's buried in there. Ah, but she's looking like another 2021. Yes, sir. Finally, we're starting to hit some numbers here. I was worried about the, uh, the premium urethane count going down a little bit, but this is the spot. We're paying out in urethanes now. Let's keep them going. All right, well, I see one more in here. Let's grab this one. Let's head out of this area. This was surprisingly productive. Pulling back the grass. Oh, this guy's embedded, holy cow. Come out. Just a burner. But yeah, this area was pretty good. I dropped the bag over there. Over there. <laughs> Let's go back and get that. And we'll head back up the other side, see what we can find. What? What did we just find, guys? I was just setting up that shot to walk down and pick up the balls I threw back. I did not throw this one back. This one I just found. It's a beautiful chrome soft American flag ball. Wow, that is just super lucky. That makes me feel good. Yes! A nice Pro V1 to cap it off. Oh, and just as I'm putting those in my bag, I see a tailor made, and it is the first TP5 of the day, and it looks like it's in really good condition as well. Number 11, that's pretty cool. Yes, into the bag. Well, this is gonna be a first. I'm fairly certain I know what this is. I'm pretty sure it's a disc golf disc. And I also know that people usually put their phone numbers on them, so let's see if this one has a number on it. Whew. It is a disc golf disc. 
don't know if you guys can see the writing on it, but it says Latitude 64. I don't see a phone number inside here, but we'll clean it up and we'll see what we won. But I was not expecting to walk away with a disc today. That is very cool. Nice buy a triple. Nice, we got some orange in here as well. Sorry about the leaves. Titleist. Exeter, Blue Hawks, okay. Ah. Titleist, NXT Tour. And Srixon. Oh, Bethlehem Country Club Srixon. Let's go. Beautiful. Well, folks, that was an absolute banger of a spot. We must have found like 50 golf balls just right there. Not to mention one disc. So we got that going for us, too. Let's see if we can get all these packed up. Move across this fairway, which is what I've been threatening to do for the past, like, 45 minutes now. But I think I finally got enough of these golf balls to put aside, fill up the bags, and get back on the road. Very heavy now, but we move. A little double around the side. A Nike right there. And I see a Callaway down there as well. Yoink and yoink. Add to the collection. Ooh, we got some red. We got ourselves a little Strix on soft heel. And who's down here? Ow, prickle bushes. That's who's down there. Wilson Velocity. Tour Velocity, something like that. Oh well, guys, we're starting to hit the uh, the home stretch here. I won't lie, I'm starting to get a little tired from finding all these golf balls. It has been a extremely fun day when we got here. It's a Kirkland. It is a Kirkland. So we're heading back down hole 17, I believe now. Let's see what we can find. Maybe we can come up with a couple more gems before we're out of here today. That would be ideal. Little guy hiding in here, beyond the weeds. Is that a DT Solo? It is a DT Solo. Hello, my friend. We stumbled upon what appears to be a double. I see a nice red Callaway down here. Beautiful. Into the bags we go. I saw something. Oh, it's actually a triple up in this tree here. Look at that. Way down in here. We've got this guy. A little velocity. And. Hey, Pro V1X, let's go. Oh, I thought I saw you down there. I knew it, look at that. We've got ourselves a soccer ball chrome soft. Again, one of my all time favorites to find. Good spot on the way out of here. I guess it's a quad now. A Mutual of Omaha, DT two piece. Biggest threat here is dropping the camera into the water. Do not want to do that. Can I have a stick? Oh, I just flung dirt into my eye. Did it go into the lens? I think you guys are okay. Oh, nothing like fishing a top flight out of the stream. If that isn't New Hampshire golf ball hunting, I don't know what is, sports fans. That's a recovery. Let's go. I have indeed spotted a golf ball back here. There it is. Might be able to see it. Callaway back here. Luckily, there was a little bit of a hole, so I can kind of sneak back. Grab this without getting too many thorns in the eyeball. I think that is a Chrome Soft, actually. So we'll get him cleaned up, see what we got. Ooh, I see an orange Strix on back there. You know what that means? It means it could be a Bethlehem ball. Ooh, ah, Strix on. Oh my God, it's another Duck Dynasty ball. Are you kidding me? What are the odds of that? Well, obviously it's the same guy. And I dropped my battery. Here, let's get the battery before we start a forest fire. Was not expecting another orange Duck Dynasty ball. But holy cow. Oh, I love golf ball hunting. And I think I spotted an absolute winner, guys. Yes, indeed. It's a speckly vice. Get in there. Little blue and orange. What is he, a vice pro? Let's see. Yep, he's a vice pro. Ah, that feels good. I haven't found one of those today either. Get in the bag, my friend. A little under the brush ball here. Taylor made. Hmm, kind of looks urethane. Yeah. A TP5 it is. Let's go. Ah, let's go and see what we got. Do, 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 do. Nitro. It was never going to be anything else, was it? Hmm. <laughs> I see you back there on the rock, buddy. Yeah, you. Gotta find out how to get back to you. 
Was one X anybody? Ah, yes it was. Worth every penny. Maybe it's not an old beater, maybe I'll be surprised. Nope. Just a velocity. Ah, with a handmade American flag. I swear I found one of these in one of my last batches. You guys will know better than I do, but I think I found one with a hand-drawn American flag on it too. Yeah, I'm almost positive I did. This is, this is the same person with a smiley face on one side. Yeah, wow. Finding some very interesting duplicates today. Very interesting. Let me spy another yellow guy. Hopping over sticks and twigs to get him. Ooh, Taylor made soft response. Okay, that's a good one. Easy one right here. Just hanging out. A little pile of proby. Light work. Although you look relatively alive. TP5X. Oh, and sitting right behind it. Who are you? Oh, top light. Well, I'll take the TP5, that's for sure. Well, guys, our ride is on the way. I think. Oh, yeah, these are going to be the last two right here. We found something great. It's a double. First up, what are you? You are a Kirkland. All right, that's nice. And then to finish things off, down in the depths, oh, we got a nice Stars and Stripes Callaway Chrome Soft. Absolutely beautiful way to finish. Ah, it has been so much fun out here. Whew, covered in thorns, covered in burrs, but it is an absolute blast hunt for golf balls. Again, big thank you to Kim for letting us out here at Bethlehem Country Club. We really hope Bethlehem does come back and we get a chance to play it again. But I had a ton of fun picking a abandoned golf course today, that's for sure. So now we get the fun part. We jump over to the garage, we clean them all up, we look at the data and see what treasures we found. Let's go. And here we go guys, we got all those balls cleaned up and ready to go, inventoried and in the system. Let's check out my favorite part of the video. Let's look at some of this data and we've got something extra cool this week because we actually get to compare this trip at Bethlehem versus our first trip at Bethlehem. So we've got a couple extra graphs to look at today too. So starting off here, as you guys can see, we've got our totals here. That's always a good first thing to look at. So we've got our collection prior, which is 1600 golf balls. We added a grand total of 197 golf balls today to that. So that's pretty cool. Again, that's adding another 10% to our overall collection. Once again, we give some of these away. We give some of these back to the courses. So it's not all the balls that we have in the garage, but we've got a lot of balls in the garage. Let's put it that way. Then going down through the list here, let's scroll down to the bottom and see what we had for our final tallies and value per ball. But a bang, $160.55 for that final tally and a value per ball of 81 cents. That is pretty consistent with what we've seen before. It's kind of a little bit on the lower side, which is kind of what we expect. And again, if we look at the actual numbers here between the premiums, good and junk, let's go ahead and hop right over to those charts. We can see that our junk percentage was 33, premium 20 and good 46. Now we get to compare that to the first time we were at Bethlehem. So we found a little bit more premium this time, which is good to see a lot more good balls the second time around, which is awesome and a lot less junk than the first time around. So again, our quality of balls went up on the second trip, which was pretty cool. And then compare that to the overall as well that you can kind of see our, our normal patterns down there, a little bit lower on the premium, but a lot more on the good. That's kind of what we expected to see. So that's pretty cool. Moving on to the brand chart here. Now we take a look here and as you can see, it's the big three again, but wait, is it? We've got the Titleist here taking, you know, approximately a third of our balls once again. Then we've got Callaway over here and TaylorMade gets edged 
out by Srixon, 9.1% versus 8.1%. So it's actually Titleist, Callaway, and Srixon are the top three this time, and then TaylorMade coming in there at the end, almost tied with Top Flight, actually. We just didn't find as many TP5s out there, and I think we only found a couple distance plus balls, which usually we find a ton of, but not as many out there today. Well, actually, let's check it out. We've got it in the next chart. So no surprise, it is the Pro V1 that takes the cake here as the most common model. I think that's actually the first time the Velocity has taken second place on one of these, which is pretty cool to see. We've got the Pro V1 Xs, of course, a good amount of Chrome Softs. I don't think we found any Chrome Soft XLSs this time, so that's kind of interesting. Only a couple Chrome Soft Xs. We've got the Super Soft, again, a very popular kind of second tier ball. The Nitro Ultimate Distance, again, popular because almost every Nitro we find is going to be an Ultimate Distance. The Soft Feels as well. What else we got? Soft Response, Performance Plus, the Kirklands. There's the Distance Plus. We ended up finding four of them, just not as many as we normally did. Some Q stars, some true fields as well. And of course, we got all the onesie twosies down there as well. Okay, next chart we've got here is going to be the colors and patterns. And this is where it starts to get a little interesting. The first time we picked up Bethlehem, we found about 80% non-colored and patterned and 20% colored and patterned. This time we actually found 86% no colors or patterns and 14% colors and patterns. I'm not exactly sure why. My thought is that maybe the first time we picked it, it was a lot easier for us to see some of those colored balls because there wasn't seven feet of leaf clutter while we were out there the first time. So maybe it was easier for us to kind of pick up some of those um, colors that were popping in on the ground, whereas this time they were just buried under leaves and we can't see orange when there's orange leaves all around. But if we take a look at the chart there, of course, we've got our big no category and then we've got five yellow balls, five pattern balls. Again, that would be like 360 triple tracks or TP5 picks or the true viz balls, those type of things. Uh, red, I think was the most common one we found. Pink, Iridescent, we had like a sparkly white one. That was pretty cool. Green, we found five of, and orange, we found three of. A little surprising that yellow took second place this time. Usually yellow is kind of like a pretty big pie chunk there, but hey, this time it is red that takes home the cake, so that's pretty cool. And one final chart here that I've made a key addition to this time, you can see that actually the 2023 Pro V1s are actually in first place here. We found six of them, and then 2021s are second place with five, so it's good to see some nice 2023 Pro V1s out there on the course. We've got the other years bouncing around in there as well, and if you'll notice, we've got a year zero here. So this actually represents all of the refinished balls that we find. So I don't actually put the year of the refinished balls because as we know, what they'll do is they'll just paint over it. They'll put whatever logo they want on it. When you find a refinished golf ball, chances are it's probably not from the year it actually has stamped on the ball because they've just stamped over whatever was there previously. So I put a number zero next to all those refinished balls just so it would appear on this chart. So that way we get to see how many refinished balls we find compared to kind of the normal years as well. So we found almost as many refinished balls as we did the 2021s and the 2023s. So that is something that's pretty neat. And this time we found the disc golf disc out there as well. I'm definitely gonna try to return that to the owner, which is gonna be a great reason for you guys to subscribe and turn on those notifications because that's probably gonna be a short coming up in the next couple weeks. So I'm really looking forward to that. Join the Muskrat Links golf team, guys. We've got our patch giveaway. Fill out the form that's down in the description if you wanna be sent a Muskrat Links golf team founders patch. I'm really happy with the community that we've built here and you guys are obviously the main part of that. I think that is gonna be it for me. Have fun out there, everyone.